Silvercrest 5 inch gauge 9F engine. Um, before you remove the top of the cab, you need to pull out the, the tender front plate and the cab roof will slide out backwards. Uh, when you're coupling the engine and tender, the draw pin pulls out through the full plate. So you need to get the engine and tender completely lined up with the draw bar through the hole, through the slot, and then drop the pin in. And then the hoses, they just line up. So there's, there's three rubber hoses and one pressure connection. But as long as you line the hoses up on the tender with the engine and push them on, you'll have them in the correct places. Uh, the fire grate's in three sections, which go in through the fire hole door. Uh, the centre part of it is nearer the back of the engine, so the longer slope goes towards the front, and then the cutout pieces are to match uh, to miss the flanging in the firebox. So that would be the right hand piece, centre piece is plain, and the left hand piece has the cutouts on on the left hand side. And when you put them in the firebox, which I'll show you in a minute, you put the outside two in first and then drop the middle one in between them. Right, included with the tools of the engine is, is a wire um, tool for the grates. And you hook it under the centre spacer on the grate and then you, you can just put the grate inside, drop it down, take the tool out and then push that section of grate right to the left. And then you do the same with the right hand one and then drop the centre piece in the middle. Right, before we light the fire, uh, you need to fill the boiler to a third of a glass of water and you can either take a safety valve out and fill it with a watering can or you can pump it through using the hand pump and the tender. And there's a, there's a manually operated hand pump in there. Um, the blower, because it's got a double bore chimney, you have to block up one bore either with a piece of rag or a, a specially made plug that you may make. Um, and then the blower goes in the other bore, otherwise it will just suck the air straight down the other bore. Cover the grate about an inch deep in charcoal, barbecue charcoal soaked in paraffin. Once it's light you can turn the blower on. and just leave the fire to burn through a bit before you put some coal on. Once the charcoal fire has been burning for three or four minutes, start to add Welsh steam coal, which you, uh, you can get from Signal Fuels, and you want beans. They do different grades, different sizes, but you need beans. Just sprinkle it all over the top of the charcoal, and then wait. Um, while we're in the cab, I'll point out some of the controls. There's, that is the injector water valve, that is the axle driven pump bypass valve, that is the three port valve that controls the steam brakes, three port valve that controls the steam operated drain cocks. Now each of these three port valves has got an isolator valve, one there and one there which you would just turn off for boiler tests in case these leak. And then the other two valves, this one is the injector steam valve, and this one is the blower valve, and then that is the whistle. And then forward and reverse on the wheel side of the cab, and there's a locking, when the engine's running, there's a locking peg to go down. Keep it in where you've selected it. Walking around the engine, uh, this is the live steam injector. There's a second one fitted, but it's not plumbed in. So, so there's a spare injector which is fitted in board of the working one. Uh, moving forward, this engine's got two mechanical lubricators, one each side. On production engines, there's a lift-up flap here. On this one, we're just filling it through a hole. The mechanical lubricators need to be filled with heavy-grade steam oil. All the rest of the valve gear can still be lubricated with steam oil or thick motor oil, but really the thicker the better. Um, cylinder drain cocks. These are taper cock valves operated by steam cylinder inside the frames. Just adding more coal slowly just to keep the fire blacked in at the top, but don't over fill it. Just keep it covered in fresh black coal as it burns through. It's 
start them get hot now, pressure gauge is just about 15 pounds. And that's about 10 minutes after lighting the fire. The pressure's risen now just, just over 30 pounds. So we can open the engine's own steam blower to take the electric blower off. Take out the rag out of the other bore. You can see that now, now the pressure's up to 60 and the boiler's a lot hotter and the water's expanded and what was a quarter of a glass of water is now more like two thirds and that's normal. Fire's burning really bright, time to black it in with a bit of coal. Once the pressure rises to 90 the safety valves will lift. Uh, and the first thing to do is to test the injector. I'll show you how to do that. Turn the blower down a bit. So you turn the injector water valve on full. You'll see the water running out. And turn the steam valve on slowly. You'll get a stream of water. And then the injector will pick up. That's now feeding the boiler. Water's gone up now to nearly, well, nearly a full glass, which is about the maximum you want. Wind the wheel anti-clockwise back towards you just for full forward gear. To reverse the engine, release the catch on the reverser stand, wind the handle forwards clockwise direction, wind it up into reverse gear. The ash pan on this engine has got two ash doors which are operated by linkage from this lever here. And you just flip the locking catch up and then they'll open. And then you can rake the ash out from underneath. Uh, the boiler pressure's decayed to 20 pounds. Um, blow down valve which has a handle on it on production engines is just there. Just open it half a turn. And, and let the boiler blow itself down.